A 20-year-old man is dead tonight after Deland police say he pointed a gun at one of their officers. That officer fired his gun, as did a Volusia Sheriff's deputy, killing him. Uh, at Fox 35's Patrick Perez live at the Deland Police Department tonight. So, Patrick, the car that that man was in was connected to an assault case from just last week. And John, police have been on the lookout for that car since that incident last Thursday involving someone who tried to kill two women right outside of their home. Well, today officers came across that car and what happened next remains under investigation. This is unjustified. You just can't be shooting people. Family and friends of 20-year-old Javion Barthel gathered outside DeLand Police Headquarters Friday evening, hours after an officer and sheriff's deputy shot and killed him. They could have used non-lethal weapon. They could have used the rubber bullets. Right. If y'all fear for y'all life like that so bad. Around 1.30, a DeLand police officer pulled over a white Dodge Charger near Euclid and Woodland, believed to have been involved in an assault case last Thursday. Police say someone in that case attempted to shoot and kill two women outside their home, but the gun never fired. A Volusia Sheriff's deputy, who happened to be near the scene of Friday's traffic stop, arrived to help the DeLand officer. Both would end up firing their guns. The officers were approaching the car, and at some point on their approach to the vehicle, the firearm was displayed, and then there were shots fired. DeLand Police Chief Jason Umberger says Barthel pointed this gun at his officer and the deputy, but neither he nor Sheriff Mike Chitwood could say whether Barthel ever fired the gun. That's part of uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement's investigation. Barthel was no stranger to law enforcement, Chitwood says. His first run-in with the law was just at 12 years old for battery on school police. Back in November, he was arrested after pulling out a gun during a fight at DeLand High School months prior. That still don't make that boy a criminal. That don't still give them the right to take his life. The driver and the front seat passenger inside of that car were not injured, but both of them were taken into custody. As for the deputy and the officer who fired their guns, both of them were also not hurt, but they have been put on leave. FDLE is now taking over this investigation. We're live in Deland tonight. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Patrick.